He's got a, a lot of cash. We thought he deposited $10,000 that was on his person, and now they brought in his property. And who only knows how much is here? After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. the jail at night, you get all kinds of personalities. I get a lot of attitude. For some reason, it's always our fault that they're in there, and they have no accountability for their own actions. And it just makes it harder for them here. We can get through it a lot more smoothly than when they fight us. Fix the wall, spread your feet. You know, anything sharp on anything that could cut me? Like my like zippers? No, more like, like well, safety like my nails. Wow, if you just listen to me. <laughs> I'm more concerned about safety pins, razor blades, knives, no, needles. Honey. You know what? That feels good. Oh, you're one of those uh -huh. kind of girls. Thanks. No, but you know what? Can well, you... No, I think you are. No, honey, Go ahead and face the wall and keep quiet. Put the bra underneath my... No. Put it back where it belongs. No. But in a minute, you can do it. All I need is a booby under the wire. Just... I think you can take care of your own boobies, ma'am. I'm not touching it... your boobs, ma'am. No, just put it underneath the bra. Nobody right here wants to touch so your boobs. So uncomfortable, honey. Now, this is what's going to happen. Listen to me. All right, go ahead and fix your bra. Go ahead and take your jacket off. Not very smart. Not yeah. very smart. Put your hands up on the wall. Whatever you want, girl. Honey. Honey, she girl. likes me. I swear to God. Hey, honey. Go ahead and put your cute little shoes on. Hey, I don't want to hear nothing from you guys. Are you just going to stand here all night, ma'am, or are you going to go to your seat? Second row from the back, all the way to the last chair. Behind you guys. Careful, can she's I, a grabber. Can no. I get my, can I Negative. Get my nope, you can't. No. Second from the end, so it'd be this one. All the way to the very last seat. What's her story? She's standing. Um, I saw her coming down off the off ramp. Really erratic, cutting in and out of traffic doing 65 and a 35. And uh, so I lit her up trying to get her to stop. She finally pulled over. You know, and there, everything was, hey, babe, how are you? Know, you know, I'm working. You know, I said, have you been drinking? She goes, maybe one cocktail. Said, What's maybe? You know, either you've been drinking or you haven't. So we did the PBT. She failed that miserably. We get her down here, and just as I'm walking in the door, she goes, you know, when I see you out on the street, she was going to run me down. Yeah. OK. So, Good to know. Well, that's another charge. Did you have any alcohol tonight? How much have you had? I had two beers. Hey, I'm going to read you something. You're required to submit to an evidentiary testing of your blood or breath to determine alcohol content. Do you understand that? I'm sorry, could you read that again, please? Faster or slower? Slower, sweetie, please. What part didn't you understand? All of it. Start from the beginning. Read it over. Okay, let's go. Into the next I'm sorry, room. I didn't. Come on, ma'am. I didn't read that. Okay, if you're not going to walk, then I'm just going to help you walk this way. Did you guys get that? Let's go. I understood it, and I wasn't even I close to you. It. Could be the alcohol. Really? I'm I just saying. Just saying. Have a seat on this chair. No, no, no. I'm not doing anything until you read me my rights. I did. Listen, Please. listen Sir, to what medical has to tell you. Situation, okay? Can you comply and just be cool and be taken real quick? You sit in the back row with everybody else, or you can not comply. We strap you to a chair, and then I take it anyways, and then you sit in the chair. Okay, so I have no options. Yeah, cooperate or not cooperate. Good choice. Let's get it done and over with. It's almost done, okay. You're all done. You know what? And you're done. She's having a hard time complying with instructions right now. She came in and she's really liking the attention that she's getting from everybody. Whatever, I'll just take it and deal with it and we'll get her through the process, but it's all on her right now. We're all trying to be as patient as we possibly yeah. can with her. Sarah? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Um, what happened tonight, though? I didn't get your side of the story. When I came from Paradise, you know, the airport connector is very confusing now. It's not an easy, this is true. like, emerge. I sped up a little bit to get in front of the cab. When I sped up a little bit, your friend Dave felt it necessary. My friend Dave? Yeah, your he friend is my Dave. friend. Okay, yes, your friend Dave. Yes, my friend Dave. And he decided to pull me over and 
I guess the rest is history. I didn't think I had that much strength. I think that he was doing an, an excellent job in making sure nobody was hurt tonight. I mean, my, I have a family member that died from a drunk driver. Okay. So it's a little so personal to me. To you, two beers. He had to two you. beers. He did have two beers. Two beers. And his beers. life is, he's in prison right now. Would you want that to happen to you? Do you have any child molesters in your family? Have you ever been molested? I don't know why we're talking about child molesters. Because we're talking about your you charges think tonight. That child okay, I have a feeling you're gonna fight me with everything. A little bit more important. And I to can take tell. No, 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 sir. No, 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 no. We're cool. We're cool. And no, no, but really, and you're not taking any accountability for what you did tonight. The fact is, is that you know it's against the law to drink no, and drive. I'm not a criminal. The law is, is that I'm you not. cannot drink and drive, right? And that's what you did. I cannot drink to a certain point and drive. All right, sir. I'm gonna leave you here to think about it. I'm sorry you had a bad time tonight, but I'm very happy that nobody got hurt, including you. Okay, I just want you to put your thumb up here. All right. Okay, you're gonna go back to your seat, but first of all, is there anything you wanna tell my buddy Dave? I do, Dave, I'm sorry. I don't think he's so what are you sorry about? About me being mean to you. I didn't mean it. Well, you said you were a nice girl. I would, it's kind of hard I to say a, you're a nice girl and then say the things you did. I had a anger, and I'm sorry. Okay. I, I hope everything worked out for you, okay? Okay. I'll we'll take good care of you here. Accept my apology. Yes, I do. As long as it's sincere. I did mean it. No problem. All right, sir, you can go back to your seat. Thank you. We'll get her through the process, and as long as she just goes with the flow, it's not going to be a problem. female inmates that come in, the majority are prostitutes. The other crimes that we have that are really common are DUI and drugs. Usually if it's their first time, we really have to keep an eye on them because they are a lot more unpredictable and we have to handle that as quickly and swiftly as possible. Nice costume. Thanks. What are you? A cat, or was a cat. A cat. You were a cat? No tail? <laughs> no tail. Anything in your bra? No. What are you in here for tonight? Oh, I hit my boyfriend. You hit your boyfriend? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Because he tried to leave me stranded. I have a temper and I got angry and slapped him. Just like a cat? Over this way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go the whole way down and sit in the last, we'll sit beside the female that you came in with. So what's up with the fat woman? Well, she was at a local club down at the Hard Rock. Had a little too much to drink and decided to slap her boyfriend. She couldn't claw her way out of this one. You were just in here. What? You couldn't stay out of trouble. No, I, I did. What did she get arrested for? Trespassing, possession of dangerous weapon on school property. What'd you have? A knife. I always carry on me. Well, you can't have it on school property. Well, I didn't know that. All right, Blondie. That's her name, Blondie? Oh, yeah. 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 We got legally married. When did you do? When, when did you get married? I said through 28. Come on. Yeah. All right, go ahead and sit in the last chair down there, Blondie. Yeah. Hey, don't get that plane, honey. My husband's getting arrested for trespass and then also probation violation. Okay. You just you met your stand? husband? Yeah. All right, stand on the line, face the wall. I love you. I'm actually surprised she got married. Take the jacket off. Well, the good thing is that charge won't hold you for too long, so. Hmm. You don't have any warrants, do you? Yes. Well, then you might be here a little longer. If you have warrants. Oh, yeah, that's a good possibility. Yeah. All right, come on. Have a seat on the last chair. I made contact with her and her husband about a month and a half ago. Uh, they were up at a school sleeping just downtown here. I uh, told them that they had to leave. I came back today. Uh, they were both there again, so I stopped them. Um, I get her into a him in a custody for trespassing. She has a long history of meth use, um, and she's 43 years old. Wow. All right, thanks. All right, uh-huh. What'd you have the knife for? Protection. You guys always know that, that when I come here, I have that knife for the protection. Because Is it a I, big one? No, it's a bigger, bigger one like that. All right, because I have more seizures. You have and, seizures? Yes, and I can't fight like I used to. And my baby not being there. How old are you? How old are you? I don't know. Honestly. I'm no, asking you. No, didn't get You look like you're 35. Yeah, right, I'm 43. Wow. What kind of drugs? What's your favorite drug? Meth. Meth? And last longer. 
It lasts yeah. longer. How's it, how's it make you feel? Perfect. All right, Blondie. Okay. Hector, do you do drugs with her? Or? No, we don't do drugs, period. You don't? No. You gonna help her try and get off of it? I do think I'm doing. Is that what you've been doing? Yeah. You haven't seen her here in quite a while, have you? Mm, I haven't, no. Yeah, that's why. So how long have you known Blondie? A couple of years. A couple of years? Yeah. yeah. She's a really good, she's a beautiful person, really. Well, a it sounds like you're pretty good for her, a Hector. Well, I want to get her to California. We gotta get out of this godforsaken city yeah. ass town, you know. Yeah, that sounds like a plan, Hector. It is. Maria, have you ever been to Rosa before? No. <laughs> no. So what happened last night? Oh well, my boyfriend. Spread your feet. Um, he tried to leave me at Hard Rock, and I was like, I drank a little bit. And and I got upset because he, like, kept ignoring my phone calls because he thought I was, like, dancing with some guys. So he left because he thought you were with another guy? Yeah, and then I saw him, and I just got upset and hit him. him Where did you hit him? I slapped him in the face. You didn't scratch him with no. your little cat claws? No. <laughs> no. I just hit him, and then the bouncer saw, and, you know, he was like, oh. Did he want you to get arrested? No, he wanted me to get, get... your hands across your chest? He wanted me to get kicked out or something. How long have you guys been together? Almost a year. Almost a year? And you're down here from where? Seattle. When do you have to go back? Uh, tonight. Tonight? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to take you back behind this curtain and we're going to take off your costume. Did you guys ever fight like this before? Well, yeah. All right. Come on over here. Okay, you're gonna sit on the right-hand side. Don't get up unless you hear your name called, or you raise your hand and get permission, okay? Am I allowed to sit? You have to raise your hand and get permission from the officers oh. that are working out here, okay? Good luck. Come on, Blondie, stand right here. Let's see. How many times do you think you've been here? Don't, don't say it, don't. <laughs> Holy smokes. How many times? 43. Uh-huh. Wow, this way. All right, Blondie. I'm going to sit you right here in this room, okay? Don't get up unless you hear your name called, okay? All right, good luck, Blondie. She just got married, so hopefully uh, that'll straighten her up and uh, we won't be seeing her too much as we have in the past. When are you supposed to go back to work? I was actually supposed to go tomorrow. <laughs> Well, yeah. Maria, good luck. I hope everything you. works out. And yes, I hope so, too. Maybe you uh, should get some anger management classes so you don't hit anymore. Or I should just stop drinking, period. <laughs> There's a thought. Try that. Yeah. Good luck with that. She's paid her bail. She'll be able to get out and go home and fly back to Seattle tonight, and hopefully she'll learn her lesson. Metro for just under a year. I've been down in booking for almost six months now, and I prefer it. It's faster pace. People come in. Some are still extremely angry with the police, and we have the same uniform as the police officers do on the street, so they want to take their anger out on us. Ladies, right down here, please. Face the wall. Ma'am, you can go ahead and just have a seat right here. I'll get to you in one second, okay? What are you in here for? Burglary. Burglary? Supporting the heroin habit? How long have you been on heroin? About six years. Six years, and you're how old? 20. And your brother as well? Yeah, right there is my brother. Where are your parents? My dad, he's in prison for 13 years, and he got out like 11 months ago. Just he's, recently? Yeah, he, now he's back in prison now. What's I going to take? Uh, this, I guess. Me and my brother both need all the same time. Oh. And your brother, how long has he been? How old is he? Are you one? Year older than me. A year older? And he's been doing heroin for the same amount of time? Was he on anything else or just weed and heroin too? No, he was speeding. You said you stole a Red Bull, as in what? The drink? Yeah, we stole, yeah, cases of Red Bull. Oh, cases of Red Bull. From where? Gas station. From a gas station? So that you could try to resell and. Yeah. Go ahead and slip your shoes on. A lot on. of crooked cops. Or a lot of crooked smoke shots. Smoke shots. I can wear these. 
So you're saying that you resell the cases of Red Bull to smoke crooked shops. smoke shops yeah. to support your heroin habit. Yeah. Uh, habit. Wow. I wear these shoes? Yeah, of course. That's what I gave them back to you for. Thank you. All right, Miss. In the row. No, no, this row, the last row. Seat, OK? All right. It was a petty larceny. So they call us and they say that they stole some two cases of Red Bull. Red Bull, yeah. So they come running out with the cases, they get inside the car, they take off in the car, and the car dies on them. So now they're pushing the car. So after that, they start confessing. They probably stolen anywhere from two to $3,000 worth of retail. energy drinks in the last week. Since last Friday. Where they were at tonight, they'd hit the store twice. Yeah, twice today, once in the morning, once at. It's amazing what drugs can make you do. Who was going to hit the same store try, oh, twice yeah. in a row? That's okay. That's drugs for you. Thank you. Michael, that's your sister back there, huh? She's your younger sister or older? Younger. You guys, she said you guys are both on heroin. How long have you been doing heroin? Six years. For six years, too? Did you guys both start around the same time? Who introduced you guys into heroin? Her friend. Her friend? Her boyfriend. Oh, uh, her boyfriend. Is she still with this guy? No. What is your habit like? Because I know when you when you come into jail, you generally detox, mm -hmm. you go back out, and you start over again. And it takes you... less amount to get yeah, you really high, right? Two to three hundred dollars a day. Two to three hundred dollars a day? Yeah. Now is that two to three hundred dollars a day for both you and your sister or per yeah. or just you? You've been here before, so you know the drill. It's probably gonna be a little while out here. Then they're gonna take you into the other side where they'll take everything off, okay? If you start feeling sick, let us know, okay? In the front row, right? Hey, be good. Front row. He actually pulled up right next to me. He was like, hey, just you know, tell my tell my friend Officer Radich I said hi. I said, okay, no problem. I said, what's your name? He said, Sam. He just drives off. But I run the plate and it comes back stolen. Well, oh. yeah, so uh, we ended up. right one. Yeah, so by the time I got the stolen, the stolen hit back on the, on the uh, computer, he was gone. We couldn't find him. Uh, and so today, you know, a couple weeks later, here we are. He's, you know, uh, Sit down. he's actually one of the, uh, the suspects we arrested on the domestic violence today. So uh, he'll be looking at those other charges for possession of a stolen vehicle. He said that you rolled up and asked for him to say hello to a friend for you in a stolen vehicle. That's right. Did you know the vehicle was stolen? Yeah, it's a little stolen. Well, at least he's honest. At least you're honest. They all know me. That's why that happened. Yeah. I've been stopped a thousand times. When did you steal that vehicle? I didn't. I mean, I didn't steal it. It was stolen. I didn't steal it myself. Oh, you knew it was stolen. Yeah. Though. Just, but you... I'm saying uh, that was that was about. Uh, I had it for a whole a whole month. You happy? You be in jail? You seem really excited. I'm not happy in jail, but I, you've been arrested before. Yes, I have. How many times you've been here? To this jail here? Yeah. I've been here ten times. Ten times? Yes, sir. And where else have you been arrested? In California, in Arizona, <coughs> Texas. Why are you living here? In Las Vegas. This is a hustler's paradise. A oh, dream yeah? come true. What do you do for a living, Sam? I sell drugs. You sell drugs? Yes. What kind of drugs? First thing, okay. I'm honest. Yeah, I see that. You're you very honest. Mad for that. No, I'm not mad at you for that. I'm mad at you for selling drugs. I spend the money with other businesses, so I help, I'm helping other folks, not just myself. Is no, that what you tell money. yourself? That's You're helping the economy, huh? Helping the economy, man. By spending money. Spending money, I give back. What types of walks of life do you sell to? I don't discriminate. Money is money. They call me the money man. Well, you have to use some of that money to bail yourself out. Well, that ain't the problem. You see, I'm not tripping. I'm happy. I'm not I tripping. see that. You're very happy. Do you I ever do any of your own product? Um, I have in the past this way. What kind of drugs you done? I smoke marijuana every day. All right, well, you know what? I would say good luck, but I don't like what you do, man. Come on. Thank you. I'm sure we'll see you again. Very uh, narcissistic. Cares only about himself. As long as he makes his money, he's fine. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Sick how? Nauseous? Yeah. Or just really cold? Yeah. What else? This body aches. Your body aches? Yeah. All right, I want you to go ahead and sign right here. I know they've already stated to you, but you're being charged with burglary. Conspiracy. and Conspiracy. And then a petty and larceny petty charge. This is your copy. Now, you remember the rules of the next room, right? Yeah. Raise your hand before you get up to do anything, Ashley. 
You hear your name being called, immediately get up and go. Hey. You gonna be all right? She's upset. I think the, uh, the charges, what she's being charged for, just sunk in. And these were explained to her by the officer who arrested her, and she didn't seem to have any type of reaction. But I think now that some of the high is wearing off, she realized exactly how extensive this, these charges are and exactly how much trouble she is in. Behaviors that can actually drive a person to a site cell may be somebody comes in the facility who is on drugs, who is highly combative, verbally disrespecting staff or other inmates, maybe this inciting other inmates to a fight, who isolate them, maybe they can cool down and maybe think about their behavior. Why are you yelling? What yeah, is going right. on? What's going on, man? Why are you yelling, man? <sighs> sir, why are you yelling? Don't grab my hand. Sir, sir. I'm not talking to you here. You're really hurting my wrist. Okay. <sighs> Whatever, I, I'll find out what's going on yeah, sometime, switch, dude. Switch, 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 switch. It's not good, obviously. <laughs> oh. What's going on? Why are you guys manhandling me? <laughs> Walk. I'm walking, I'm walking, we're going to walk. Ah! What the hell can I do? Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, what's going on? Something's not right. I'm sorry, I did. We're going to leave you in here until you cool down, okay? Okay, I'm Once you cool calm. down, we take these handcuffs off and we feel you're not a threat to us, okay? Yes, sir. Stay there till the door closes. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Oh, we were out in the pre-arrest and then just started screaming. We did talk to medical. They uh -huh. said that he's possibly on meth or something. Something, okay. All right, we'll keep an eye on him. All right, thank you. Hey, spread the food part. Oh, God, really? Yep. Uh, I'm sorry. You can just ask instead of forcing me. You can say, hey, you do, do you anything. mind spreading your feet apart? And I would have done it instead of you having to physically force me to do it. What do you it. have in your mouth? Chewing tobacco, which is uh, not allowed in a jail, but it's still in my mouth. So if you want to take it out, ma'am, I can't. Why can't you take it out yourself? Well, I could spit it around. Minnesota Department of Health, cover your cough. Uh, I grew up in Minnesota. So again, so I called in the Sultan by here, my roommates. And here I am in change. Glasses? You good? Yeah, just like, am I still spreading? Yes. So you got assaulted by your roommates? Yes, sir. What happened? So my roommate assaulted me. His name's Harry. He's uh, um, 75 years old. It's Turn a around, crack Harry. meth house. And uh, I got arrested, and I called the cops because I got assaulted, and they busted me for less than a half a gram of marijuana. Oh, there yeah. You go. Yeah, you don't have to grab me that hard, so you can just ask me where I need to walk. Less than a half an ounce of weed, and I called the cops and said my roommate was assaulting me? That's why I'm here? Have a seat. Sit down. Let's go. Look at how this guy is squeezing my hands. Do what we around. tell you to do. I need to stop talking? Yes, I need to stop talking. You're going to stay in here in these handcuffs until you show us that you can calm down. Guys, leave. Stay there and closes, okay? Are you kidding me? Go f*** yourselves, you ass. He was complaining to the arresting officer about what's going on. Let's let him cool down for a bit and come back and see how he's doing. Can you tell me a little bit about William, how he came in? Well, we were dispatched to his house. And uh, it was involving a uh, family disturbance mm -hmm. between roommates, mm -hmm. a lot of drinking going on. He was making accusations that somebody pulled his hoodie. Mm -hmm. All the other three roommates said, no, nothing happened. It was just verbal. No one touched anyone. OK. So that was the whole call of what it was called. He said somebody actually assaulted, battered him. He searched our room, so that's when we found his, oh, okay. uh, All right. his uh, paraphernalia and some little bit of marijuana. OK. All right, well, thanks, man. I okay. appreciate it. All right, sir. Right. One more time. It's not going to be good. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Let's take him out and put him over here. We're obviously going to have to separate him. Come on, 
on out here, Dustin. Dustin, come on. Step out into that so you room. You want to talk to him for it's a minute? Yeah. Come on, Dustin. Hold on, hold on. Just slow down. Slow down. The other gentleman had been disruptive. He already calmed down considerably. I'm going to take the handcuffs off you. Okay, you promise to settle down. Okay, and relax. Thank you. Ah, yeah. Stay there until the door closes. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's not going to happen unless you calm down. Someone me like I was a criminal. All right, when these cuffs come off, they're going to go up on the wall, okay? Yes, sir. Nowhere else. My hands will go to yes. my side if there's nowhere else. Oh, oh, sorry. There you go. You, I saw you said when the cuffs went off, they'd go up to the wall. Yep. Which is what you said. You didn't now, say anything about my hands. William, listen. You understand that your charges are pretty much misdemeanor charges. You're going to be getting an OR, release on your own reconnaissance. Yeah, I probably should have gotten a ticket and allowed to go to the stratosphere, and I appreciate that. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, let's try to get you out of the cell in a little bit more. This is stage two of your cool-down period, okay? If you start sure, acting... I am so, I am so cool. You, you guys arrested me for being Here's cool. Here's the thing, William. You don't let people finish talking when I'm trying to talk to no, you. No, again, via con Dios, I am him. He is I. I already know what you're going to say. Thank you for the time. I you almost had it till the ticket. I was just going to let you go outside and make some phone calls. But you need to cool No, down. I want to go back to the house where they were doing drugs, and you guys arrested me from there when that guy assaulted me, and that's what's not fair. I told I'm you... I'm going to come back and check I on you I told you on the 911 okay? call that I had a half Stay a gram of marijuana closes. On me. I told the 911 call. Just stay there. Well, we could have the psych talk to him, see how he works out. Hopefully, we can get him out here. So. Okay, thanks, so much. Good job, guys. So, Dustin was brought in earlier today for possession of a dangerous weapon. He was acting up, but let's see how he's doing now. Sit down for us. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You okay? What's going on, man? Well, I got to make sure you're stable enough to let you out with everybody else. And the way you're acting right now, very emotional. I just Are don't you understand why, why the TV was shut off and then the phone. Because you're in a side cell. A side cell, just like that cell <laughs> over there, okay? And I was watching and a freaking drama. The way you're acting, oh, you can't come out with everybody else, okay? You want anything? Uh, I got high, like, a couple days ago, yeah. Is it still affecting you like this? No, I am the phone and to contact my family. Do you get high all the time? No, I do not. No? No. See, you just calm down for a second. You're going up and down. All right, as soon as you cool down, we'll give you the phone and give you everything else you're supposed to get, okay? Stay there. Don't move to the door closed. He's still acting a little bit out of control. He might be uh, under the influence of some things, so these guys don't understand. They came in here on simple charges, and they're just uh, delaying their process, so hopefully their process will get through. Yeah, we'll see. the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for three years now. You know, you get to help people go through the jail process. It's not something that people get to do every day, so information is key. It takes away some of the uh, anxieties that they might have with being in here. Just relax. Why are you so upset right now? Because I don't trust cops. Because you what? Yeah. No, I don't trust cops. You don't trust cops? Yep. OK. While you're in here, you know you don't have a choice. What are you in here for? Driving under the influence of alcohol. I'll tell you right now, if you cooperate, I'll try to help you out as much as possible, OK? Ah. So good. A little better, right? See, we're not so bad. OK? You don't have handcuffs on now. OK. All right, let's go get you screened by medical, OK? And then you can go in the bathroom and wash up a little bit, because you got mascara everywhere. That's just one girl to another helping you out. That. All right, ma'am, go all the way down the end. I want medical to talk to you. Now, you don't know who you're dealing with. It's a happy-go-lucky woman, whatever, and stuff like that. And but she needs protection. Yeah. Hmm. She seemed like a nice lady too. Was she, she, she says DUI. Okay. So she was a little bit of a problem. Yes. Put a jacket. I was at Hacienda Indicator, and I observed a uh, a suspicious vehicle uh, had some front end damage. Drive through the intersection. Made contact with the driver. I realized that she was intoxicated. Like and at that point, we started field no, sparring no with us and took her into custody. Of that. OK, thank you. Myra, go sit down. We're not here to get any dates. Yeah. Oh, All right. So we'll have a seat right there. Wait, don't look a little bit better. I'm not going to say that. Go ahead. Right over there. Well, you we'll had me wash my face. Right there Myra, you Myra, you are not allowed to talk to any male inmate in here. You need to keep quiet. You're getting too much attention. If I remove you, you will be here longer than you need to be. Now, do you want to hang out here that long? Do you want to hang out with me that long? Or do you want to be home? 
I, I just don't see how it's a tough I choice. I need some sleep. Okay. Have a seat. Yeah, get it. You're a big girl. You're a big girl. Let's act like one. It's like an alcohol-themed night tonight. I give her another five minutes. Yeah, she's a, bit of a problem child that needs yeah, a hug or attention yeah, or whatever else. She still else. is a bit of a problem child. Why do you have a little? started. All right, guys, shush! No, of course they will. Okay. Listen to me, okay? No. Listen to me. Officer. No. Listen to me. Okay. Don't get out of that chair again, okay? Okay. All right, this is your last time I'm going to tell you, okay? Okay. Sit back and be quiet. This is not a game. No. Okay? No. If you want it to be a game, I'll remove you from this room. Martin. Go ahead and stick you in the side cell, okay? This is my first time. Okay. I honestly don't know what the f is going on. Sit down. So please inform me. Just please sit down. Me. Just sit until they call your name. We're done. She thinks she's cute. She thinks she's funny and it's really irritating. It's disrupting my area and where's she going? Ma'am, where are you going? This ain't your house. Go sit down. Is it bathroom? No, I just said no. Go sit down. When you sit down and raise your hand, we'll try it again. And have a seat. This is your girl. For the rest of the time she's in here, this is your girl. Miss, take your feet down off the chair. Do you see anyone else with their feet up on any chairs? Failing very badly. Listen, okay. go ahead and stand up. Stand up. Down here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Sit right here. Oh, of course, ma'am. All right. Can I cross my legs? Yeah. Oh, Go ahead. Thank you. Why are you being such a smart ass? I'm not being a smart ass. You should specify with the, what I can't and can't do. Yeah. I've honestly You see everyone it. else in here having the problems you're having? You're bringing attention to yourself. No. Do you like attention? I figured I'm trying to be like comfortable attention? if I'm going to be sitting here for Do you hours, like attention? I want to be comfortable, Because we can give right? you negative attention. Are you listening to me? Are you listening no, to me? Exactly. You're just a body in here. Pretty obviously you'd think you're special, but you're not. You're just like everyone else in here. I would think that you being a grown woman, I think you would understand that you shouldn't put your feet on the furniture of somebody else's house. How, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. You're 20 years old, so you're quite old enough to understand. So you, you have to show that respect. If you want respect, you have to give respect. You'll get respect in here. You don't see anybody else in here having problems with respect. You can't even let somebody finish a sentence before you open your mouth. I'm sorry. I'm okay? sorry. Just sit there. Do not put your feet on the furniture, OK? Come on, Myra. Myra, go ahead and put your back up against the wall there. If you need anything, then you just raise your hand. You ask these officers first. And if they refuse? Listen for your name to be called. If they call you, you need to go exactly where they're to where they're going, calling you from, okay? But if I have to go to the restroom or Then that's why you raise your hand and you say, Officer, may I please use the restroom? It's like very I, simple. Like you don't ask. have to make if things so refuse, difficult. No, wait, You're, make, why don't you try? I think because you tried us in the first room and nobody likes your attitude. So maybe we could start fresh in here where they don't know about you and you're gonna be cool. But I'm asking. See, it's not working already. You know what? It's not your house. So I would suggest if you have to pee. It's just a question. Can you answer it? I'm talking to you right now. I said if you've got to pee, then maybe you should start off being polite and listen and follow instructions. No, you're not. All right. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat? Let's try this out. Here's your paperwork. So if they refuse, what happens? You're going to find out. Go have a seat. All right, princess. You're going to love her. Can't wait. important skill that the officers have to learn is uh, their interpersonal communication skills while they're in here. It's not about what kind of force you use, it's about being able to talk to people, to talk people down and to get them to do what you want them to do without the use of force at all. Five, three, six. Two. Stand right here, turn around, face the wall, separate your feet. Yes. All right. <laughs> More than a thousand here, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, gotta count that out and get the sergeant to uh, approve that. 
Have you been here before, sir? I was just here two days ago. Just two Same days ago? Thing, okay. yeah. Sir, can you count my money, please? They're going to, sir. Will you count it in my face before you steal it again, like it's got someone last time? Okay. Let me explain something to you real quick, okay? Are you listening to me, sir? Are you loss. listening to me? My money me? gets stolen. Are you listening to me? That cop just screwed me over. I passed the test perfectly. Are you listening to me? He's going to rest because he's jealous because I have a Ferrari, okay? It's not my fault. Okay. All I'm trying to do is give back to this place, build a sports complex, double the amount of police, and make jobs for this place. There you go. You guys track me because I'm a rich kid because I'm smart. I see your helicopter flashing me every day. Okay. But I want to see it before it goes away. Where is it? I want to count my money. Okay, are you done talking now? Yes, sir. Okay. It's over there. You're gonna go see medical. And before they put it away, you're gonna come over. You're gonna confirm. Are you looking at me? I wanna know where my money is. Go ahead and turn around and go see medical. I'm done with you. All right, what do we got going here, officer? All right, we have a nine, 9,500. 9,500. Here's the deal, Andrew. I think there's something in your system that's a controlled substance, so you're gonna be uh, given a, you're gonna be forced to give a uh, blood no, I'm not. test. I, no, that? I'm not. I do not have to take a blood test. No, it means you're required because I think controlled substance is an issue. Does it matter? If I blow zero zero zero, okay. you can't. One by law, you can't give a blood yeah. test. This gentleman came in a DUI for a DUI drugs. I know the law. How My lawyer can you tell? Me. He's misinformed. <laughs> Breathalyzer won't pick up a positive on a drug test. For drugs, so they have to do a uh, blood draw. It's called a free country. It's not Are top you country. To listen to me or not? You, you just, you just really screwed your up your job by throwing me down like that. That's called assault. That's that's called abuse. You're gonna lose your job for that. Okay. Oh, we got more money. Let's go. Let's go. Let's put it up here and I'll count it out. No, because he's walking around money. I would assume he's a gambler. He's got a, a lot of cash. We've already deposited $10,000 that was on his person, and now they brought in his property. And who only knows how much is here? I mean, he's got stubs here for the amounts 50000 50000 100000 so. He said he just wanted to go to In-N-Out Burger. Well, you, you can then. Yeah, 20. Most people don't walk around with this kind of cash. I think it's if I'm eight, nine. So in addition to the ten thousand dollars cash we've already deposited, uh, we're going to be depositing another forty-one thousand and forty dollars in cash. So, well, how do we come into contact with Andrew tonight? A couple of people were falling down the street, calling him that he was weaving all the roads. When I got behind him, initiated a traffic stop with sirens and air horn, and he decided he wanted to continue rolling forward all the way up to the light, and he got pinned behind another car. At which point, I got up and stopped him. Excessive speed, or was he uh, actually obeying most of the traffic? Extremely slow. Uh, he was only going probably five, ten miles an hour, and then he started rolling away from me after I initiated a traffic stop on him. So, what was he driving tonight? He had apparently just bought a brand new 2010 Ferrari. Right now, he's definitely getting booked for the uh, DUI. We'll put the money right into the money room where it can be safely deposited on his account. So, a couple days ago, then, when you got pulled over for DUI, what? You said you were high. What were you high on? Uh. That caused you to, you know, get pulled over then. You just have to see back. I told you the truth, you know. Yeah, I'm just curious for my own, you know, sake. Because you say you changed your behavior this time. You were at least pulled over this time. I wasn't drunk. You weren't speeding or anything like that. Zero, zero there. So you don't drink a whole lot? No, 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 I drink. Oh, I drink. I drink a lot. And if I get three DUIs, I'm going to be, I already have charges in Florida. I will be I went to rehab, it helped me a lot. I used to run 15 Roxy's a day and six Annex. Wow. Yeah, I was lost. I just started. I was 17 years old. I, I overdosed. I had serious drug problems, but I have slowly gotten better. I've learned a lot. I used to be on 15 a day. So, you know, there's just some restructuring. That all America needs some restructuring. That's all I'm about, because I've been given, given everything in my life. I've been given everything. Now you want to give back and help out. I've always, I've always been giving back. I've already given out. I've already given out $250,000 in tips. Why? That's your month of bet. Why? So all I do is give out. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Talk to me as we walk in here. For a year. Come on up, kind of listen to me for a little bit here. We're going to get you through this process. So you can kind of chill until then. OK. As soon as your bail amount right here listed, you got two thousand dollars for the uh, DUI and two hundred dollars each. You know the unregistered vehicle, no proof insurance. Now we're going to have you sign for your property because you know that we, 
all your checks that you had yeah. are going to be in your property yeah. there. The check from CCDC before, and then the. Uh, you guys give me a check for five thousand. I can just return that check to you, and you guys can keep the change. If you want to make donation of some kind, you can contact yeah. the chaplain here. Maybe you can uh, do a money release for that five thousand dollar check. Okay. You understand this is your second DUI right now? Yes, I know. But if you are convicted, I you get a I'm third not even one. Driving. I'm I know. Okay, you know, that's right, you know it, okay? Know. I'm not. Okay. Apparently his family have the largest food distribution companies in the world, so uh, he does have great financial backing. You know, hopefully he will come through with his uh, promises and, and clean up his act. We get just as many female as we do male inmates. The majority of the females that are arrested are arrested for prostitution. Females can be just as dangerous as the male inmates. Fortunately, I work with a lot of great people who are great backup. So you guys are back. What are you back for this time? Trespassing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. So, how much do you charge? Let's just say I on a normal go by the night. Staying at. On a normal night, how much do you normally make? I ask them. The first question I ask is, "Where are you staying?" Mm -hmm, so, if, they're, if someone's staying at the Bellagio or someone's staying at the Trump, then obviously I'm not going to tell them <laughs> three or four hundred dollars. I'm going to tell them a thousand or better. What's the most you've ever gotten in one night? One guy took me to a wedding. He didn't have a date for his wedding, so he took me as his date for a wedding. And paid me. He paid me twenty five hundred dollars a day for six days. Aren't you scared that something bad's gonna happen? I mean, that's a pretty dangerous occupation that you have. Some people like it's that. Like You're a, a 50, cop. 50. Your job's dangerous. <laughs> I have a pretty good feel about people. I mean, you can talk to them before you go upstairs and stuff, and you know. Yeah, and you can kind of be choosy. Yeah. yeah, like you don't have to pick somebody you don't want to go with. How long you been doing this? Since I was 14. Since you were 14? How old are you now? I'm 20. You're 20, and you are? I'm 21 now. Wow. All right, come on, ladies. Follow me. All right, Whitney, I'm going to have you first. OK, turn around and face that way. Spread your feet for me. So how much longer do you think you're going to be a prostitute? As long as people buy this I'm going to sell this OK? As far as having a normal life, Maybe when I'm 30. Why, is that old? Yeah. <laughs> really? 30's old, really? No. Wow. <laughs> You're going to have a retirement party? In jail. The day I decide to quit being a prostitute, you guys can throw it for me. Be like, yeah, you're not going to come here no more. All right, come on over this way. You know the drill. First row, don't get up unless you raise your hand. Do not talk to the males. All right, come on over this way. And so how long do you think you're going to be a prostitute? When do you think you'll stop? I'm going to do this until I am old and ugly. Oh, 30? No. <laughs> I won't be old and ugly at 30. Right? Well, according to Whitney, 30 is old. She might be old and ugly at 30. That's because she's only 20 and she thinks 30 is <laughs> old. No, um, I don't know. I actually would like to start my own business with this money, hopefully. What kind of business? Um, I actually want to open a marijuana dispensary. Okay, I'm sure you know the rules. Sit out in the first row. Don't get up unless you raise your hand. If you have any questions, raise your hand. Do not talk to the males. They don't have any money anyway, so you're wasting your time. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. You know what? They both enjoy what they do. They never give us problems. I guess to each its own. Separate your feet. What's this in your pocket? What is it? No, I cannot. You can take it all off. Take it all off. Take it off. I Take it off. No, do not you stand me up against the wall. I'm not trying you to kick have you. This no. Get off of me, you bitch. Who's grabbing my yeah, wrist like this, though? How? Somebody's grabbing my wrist hurt. No, do not grab my wrist like that. Do not do this to me. I'm not no damn criminal, dude. My wrist hurt. Do not grab my wrist like a criminal. No. Don't do that to me. Dude. Sit down. Ow. Oh, my God, whatever, dude. Do whatever you want to do. So what's the deal with her? Uh, she was disrupted in the courtroom. She was arguing with the judge, uh, started using profanity. Uh, while her case was being heard, the judge went ahead and told her to calm down. She didn't. I hate yep. Metro. I hate all oh, police. <laughs> Hey, 
hey, look, I came here on my own recognizance to get my stuff situated because I'm trying to get back into school, and this is just really a disruption of what, what did you have to say? he just all of a sudden got tough. Like you need to sit down. Like why, well, what why is that just, telling me? Well, why didn't you just sit down? This Okay, but I, I'm like wondering because if I sit down, I, I was not trying to have no warrants or not trying to be in jail or not trying to do none of that. Because Are you under the influence right now? So no, I'm not. I, no. Well, I, well, I had like a couple drinks last night, but I'm just really But irritated. not today? No, not today. Okay, you don't do drugs? No, I don't. Okay. okay. All right, sit in the chair and cool down. Amanda has to wait a little bit longer because her charge was more serious. Whitney got an OR, which is a own recognizance. She gets out. She doesn't have to pay bail. All right, Whitney. Are we ready for her? We are. All right, come on up, Whitney. Yeah. Count your money. Make sure everything's there. Have you ever had a regular job? No. Why don't you go to school? I don't have the time. You know, I have a two-year-old. You have a kid. Yeah. I did not know that. He stays with my mom, and like I see him every couple days. But he's in good hands. Oh yeah, the best. So off to work you go, huh? <sighs> Nothing I can say to so convince you to uh, change your occupation. I don't think so. Not Just yet. say see you next time. <laughs> well, see you next time. I'm not gonna give up on you, Whitney. I'm gonna <laughs> okay. change your mind eventually. Be careful, okay? All right. Sad. So, Michelle, do you have some chance to make some phone calls? Oh, I'm trying to talk to you. Yeah, I did. Did you? Get some things straightened up? Uh, yeah, I got some things straightened up. Yeah, you're a lot calmer now. You should be out in three days. She only gave you three days contempt. That's not too bad. So, hopefully, they will see my side of things. <laughs> Good luck, Michelle. She seems she's calm now. Hopefully, she'll get through this process without getting in the chair again. I think she will. Yeah. We'll see. All right, thanks. a lot on our weekends, things can get crazy. I mean, you've got people coming in, if they're not maintaining order, if they're being disruptive, then it, it's very crazy. You have to be on top of everything at all times. You gotta make sure that they understand the rules and follow the rules. It's the only way we can make this whole, the whole processing work. Stand up straight. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. You're having a hard time standing up. You've been drinking alcohol tonight? It's not your problem. No, I'm just asking. <laughs> so is it OK to drink and drive in Italy? Talk to my, with my lawyer. With your lawyer? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you'll be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Did you just spit? Emotional disobedience. I got her. OK, you're going to go see medical now. No, Come on. I want my job. No, you don't get to wear that right now. Excuse us. Sit down. She's Italian. You don't speak English at all? No. Yes, she does. No. How much Nothing. did you drink tonight? Nothing. No alcohol? No. I'm going to go find out from the officer what happened. Did she have an accident tonight? The witness uh, saw her driving out mm -hmm. of the parking lot. She pulled into a bar and passed out at the wheel. Oh. And uh, then patrol showed up, and she was still in the car engine running. OK. Was she cooperative with you guys? Relatively. Okay. Yeah, she's, uh, she wasn't uncooperative, but she's just so drunk that she can't right. really function. Okay. So she, but Basically, she's been okay. Drunk. She got a little bit of um, like she was out there. I yeah, don't know if you saw that. Just a little, that. you know. This is not her first rodeo. Okay. So, how much you drink tonight? You gotta keep still, okay? All right. Let's see. All right, Nora. You want to keep her here for the BP? But she's sitting still. Can you okay. Have to visit? Yes, sir. I'm gonna hang on to you so you don't fall. Okay. You okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Right there. There. And don't get up until we're here to tell you to, okay? Listen, if you okay. cooperate with me, I promise I will get you through this system. Okay. You do know you've got to do a blood draw soon, right? No, I don't. Uh, no. no more. You don't have a choice. I don't want to. You have to. You I have to? Yes. It's what? It's, 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 it's what? the law, ma'am. It's the, the way that things work. What is the law? What is the law? Tell me. I'm just looking out for your best interests. You're going to look silly. No You're going to fight us. No interest. And you, OK, you see that black chair right there? That's where you're going to be sitting. It's not comfortable. I want the law. You can't fight it. You can't fight I the can. law. I want the law. Okay. 
We'll see how this works out. You're we'll not, find out. You're not gonna win. I will. You ready? Come on, let's go. Come with me. Don't be scared. We got this. Part of this. All right, ready for this? No, I don't want it. Why? Because I don't want to. Nora, you don't have a choice. No, I don't have to. Nora, you don't have a choice. Put your arm down and cooperate. This isn't hard. Since when? Nora, don't fight us because you're going to go in that chair. Come on. Just, what did I say? I said, trust me, right? No, you're going to put me in jail right now. Stop. You know what? Put me in jail. You're already here. Let her take your blood. It'll be two seconds. Nora? No, 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 no. You're silly. Nora, stand up. Can can Nora stand up? Let's go. I will. Can you? There you go. We're gonna go in here. Sit down right here. Stand. You chose this. You didn't have to do it. You chose this. Let's remember that. It didn't have to be this way, Nora. Nora's refusing her blood draw. She's not cooperating, trying to make it difficult for the medic to draw her blood. No, this is my decision. This is torture. <laughs> Try to relax. What are you putting in my veins, you stupid? Just taking some blood out of you. Just relax. <laughs> don't, 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 don't do that. It's done. It's done. Yeah, it's you done, free. bitch. Was it worth it? Yeah. What did I say about a bad decision? Was that a bad decision? This is delaying your process, everything. I want to talk to my lawyer. Now's not time to be demanding things, ma'am. No, well, I'll talk to my lawyer. Come you on. will. Stand up, stand up. There you go. Come on. Let's go in here. All right, right here. Put your knees up here. Right here. There you go. Oh. Stay in that position until you hear the door shut. Give her a little more time to uh, sober up. She'll be able to come out of the side cell. She'll be able to come out and, and finish with the process. All right. Are you better? Yes. OK. What have you been doing today? No, I'm just like thinking about it. Do you, um, are you sobered up? Yes, ma'am. OK. I'm just wondering, because last night you were kind of mean. You're in no, a better mood? OK. Is that usually what happens when you drink alcohol? Yeah. I begged you to do it the I simple know. way. I told you don't go to the chair. I know. All right, but you know what? When you're under the influence of alcohol, I know you become a I whole know. different you, person. You talk totally different. I mean, you can see now. Like, Absolutely. This is really oh, me, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, Whoa. it's oh, horrible. I'm just like, I can't even. Well, maybe use this. You'll always remember to help you not to drink, right? Right. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much, guys. I apologize. Thank you. Okay. We know. We know. I really apologize. All right. Every time. It just takes sobering up the next day for the apologies to come. Totally different person. Totally different person. The one thing I've always liked about working here is when it gets busy and we gotta really go for it, everybody comes together and we work as a team. There's a good band of brothers and sisters that we have here, and with all, without all of us working together, we couldn't get our job done or our mission accomplished. No. <laughs> the two young girls you brought in today. Uh... Actually, they were stopped by security at Walmart mm -hmm. uh, after shoplifting. And uh, when I spoke to them after I read them Miranda, they both uh, admitted that they came to Walmart to steal clothes. Okay. They had about $110 worth of uh, property stolen. Right. And, and they were both very surprised because they thought they were both going to get away with a ticket. Well, let me go get their story and see how innocent they really are. And... All right, ladies. What happened tonight? We got caught shoplifting at Walmart. You understand this could affect your life for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you get found convicted of it, you could go to one year to ten years in prison. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. This isn't a joke. It's not. You're not going to come into jail, come in, walk right through, make a phone call, and get out of jail tomorrow. I guess we should have thought about that. Yeah, we should have thought about it. 
Um, who's, okay, you're gonna have two different types of charges. You got burglary charge and possession of narco paraphernalia, which means you had a little drug residue or something, the little roach that you had. You're also being charged with that. So if somebody doesn't come bail us out, guaranteed war gonna be in here till Monday. So if you're not doing anything over the weekend. Yeah, it's crazy. They sworn it together, right? Because you guys are co-defendants in a case, we're actually going to be separating you guys. All right. I could do that. Do you think this is fun? I don't think it's fun, but I'm no way am I coming back here. I'm not coming back here, but I'm not going to sit here and be sad about it. I'm going to try to be as happy as possible because well, it's, it's good to keep not, your spirit up. It's not a good place to be. We'll talk more when your paperwork comes through and we'll get through the process, all right? We just got a call that we're having a Code 5 male come in. It sounds like it's probably being combative. We'll see if he goes in the chair or walks. He called and told us that you were, you know, kicking the back window and... Kicking him the back. I'm going to do exactly what you tell me to do, okay, sir. Okay, well... I did not I, kick I, I the back window. What happened before you got here? Let's put that behind us, okay? Yeah. How's that sound? No but, problem. But you only get one chance. One chance. He's gonna walk in. Go and step out. Hey, can I ask one, one thing? What do you got? Is there any way I can smoke one cigarette? No. <laughs> what they you arrest guys, for? You guys are gonna arrest me for an eighth of pot. Go ahead, for it. So for pot, that's it? Yeah, pot, what? Yeah. So do right down one. All right, over right. here to the wall. We'll lead him against the wall and do his shoes first. I'll be out of here in no time. You're fine. Do you have a drink tonight, too? Yeah, yeah I have. Hey, do, do not lose those hey, shoes. I just spent $90 on those yesterday. Yeah. Do not lose them. Okay. All right, there's your sandals right there. Oh, wow. Got some orange specials for you. Nice. You guys are ass. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that comment. Yeah. yeah. Straight down here. Where are we going? Yeah. We're going to let you uh, sleep it off a little bit. He was kicking, banging the patrol car, so we're going to place him in a side cell and uh, right. let him soak keep up going. for a little while. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Sir, just keep walking. No. What did you say? Dude? Don't resist. Step out of your sandal. Don't resist us. I didn't do what you said, dude. I didn't say. Face the wall. I didn't do what you said, dude. Face the wall. Kneel down, sir. Kneel. Get on your knees. Okay. Okay. Get on your knees. Down. Okay. Stop okay. resisting. Okay. You're not going to move. We're okay. Moving. Do not yell. You understand? I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't move. Do you understand that now? Yes. Do not move. I understand, sir. I don't know what I did wrong in the first place. This guy's still a little fired up. Uh, he's been drinking too much and doing marijuana. He's going to need a few hours to sober up. How did you come across him tonight? Basically, as I was patrolling, uh, there was a citizen that held me down because he was uh, basically sleeping on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. um, I approached him to see if he was OK. Um, he got up, was very intoxicated. I asked if I could search him. He had that marijuana on him. Once he found out he was going to jail, he just started kicking the windows and uh, trying to get out of his cuffs. So I held quick by. With this, what are you going to be charging him with? Um, it's going to be possession of marijuana less than one ounce. Okay. And then with the with pipe, it's going to be possession of drug paraphernalia. Okay. And it's got the residue in there, too. Well, thank you. Yep. Okay, Kayla, I'll release you on your own recognizance. We'll give you a court date to come back in December. Okay. It seems like you're taking a more effect to this being here in jail than your friend. Why do you think that is? She's more of uh, don't give a f My mother and my parents separated me instead. Right. And I just now got on my feet, 19 years old. I'm working a job. I got my own apartment. You know, finally got on my feet. Mm -hmm. And then it just, this just kills it. This just kills it. She verified your information, so you will be given an OR. You will be getting out sometime anywhere between 12 to 24 hours, okay? I can't even explain it in words. This is horrifying. Worst thing that ever happened. Okay. This, is gonna, this is where you're going to be, okay? So. All right, go on in. Step on in. Good luck to you. 
pay the consequence if you mess up. Hopefully she'll learn. Kaylin, so do you really understand and grasp what's going on tonight? I said I knew there was a possibility of going to jail. I just didn't know it was a felony. All I can say is good luck in court. I really don't think it's sitting in on her. Maybe it will tomorrow. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be alone. I